Hey guys, welcome back. Today I will be doing a review of the Miel Organics Rosemary Mint Hair Mask. So in the product directions, it does say it is recommended to shampoo with the Miel Organics Rosemary Mint shampoo beforehand. I did go ahead and wash my hair beforehand. It wasn't with the Miel Organic Strengthening Shampoo, but it was just with my regular shampoo that I always use. So my hair is wet when applying this product. It does say to apply this product from roots to end, so that is what I am doing here. And I just took my hair into small sections, and I started from the roots, and I went through the ends, and periodically I would use my fingertips, and I would just stroke through to make sure that product was evenly applied. Warning, I use a lot of product, okay? I'm so used to conditioner being used in abundance, so when it came to use this product, I almost finished the whole container container which i will show you towards the ending so i'm gonna go ahead and speed this up so you don't have to sit there and watch my entire five minute application because that is very tedious and i wouldn't want to sit there and watch someone stroking cream from the top of their hairs to the ends for five whole minutes so let's speed this up here so when it comes to having locks and applying any type of conditioners and hair masks, the biggest, the biggest, biggest, biggest factor and concern is, is the product going to be stuck in my locks and is it going to be hard to rinse out? So when applying this, that was the only thing in the back of my head. Like, am I going to have a hell of a time trying to get all of this out my hair? So in reality, that's the only thing I was thinking about. Like, I hope I'm not screwed. I hope I don't have white residue stuck all in between my locks at the finish of this. So here it is, I got all the spots and now the product is located all throughout my hair. So what I'm doing here is one final stroke through, smooth through, making sure it's smoothed all out, kind of like in a ponytail side. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna give you guys a back view of what it looks like from the back. Take a moment to just appreciate the fullness and sexiness of that ponytail though. You see that girl, guys, kids? Yes, isn't it beautiful? So I am completely done with the application. I will show you here. I basically use almost the whole container of product. I don't even have enough for a second application. I recommend when you have locks, invest in a very large shower cap because it takes forever to get all the locks to fit into a standard size. So 15 to 20 minutes, let's watch this out. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm done and I'm going to unravel here and show you guys the final results. Oh, it smells so good. Mm, it's rosemary and mint. It's that smell that can just put you to bed. You definitely want to do this at night. You'll get a nice good sleep smell in your hair. <laughs> really relaxing. Like it smells really good. Oh my goodness. Okay, so my review on this product. I would say, first of all, if you have curls, coils, or kinks, I give this product a 10 out of 10. As far as doing this mask on locks, hair that is literally matted together, I give it a 7.5 out of 10. That's right, a 7.5 out of 10, only because the process of washing this stuff out is ridiculous and it's time consuming and I had to do it not once but two times and I probably still left a little bit behind so the rinse out process is a little bit tedious and the method that I use with using the bathtub head um should have got it way quicker than anything than using a shower head than using the sink shower head than using a hair wash sink because the water pressure was a lot harder if that makes sense but I still had a rough time getting it all out of my hair, which I was kind of worried about. But the benefits of this product was that it is made specifically for dry, damaged, or brittle hair. And it does soften your hair. It does strengthen it. And it also does encourage hair growth. So I'm sure my hair is going to love the benefits because I do have... A small bit of color in there now and I have never conditioned before so my hair is probably gonna like I love the benefits it has not seen conditioner in almost four years so my hair is probably like yeah but anyway that's basically my review on this product I think it smells amazing I give the smell a 10 out of 10 it's very relaxing it's a very soothing smell it feels a lot softer 
but my thing is it does feel like I have um product in my hair kind of feels like you um put light oil or something almost so that does mean that it does moisturize your hair which is a good thing so I do feel the moisturization from the product my hair is soft it does feel a lot softer it's not probably going to be as brittle the next day so I'll keep you guys posted on that but other than that the only negative thing I have to say about this product is the buildup and the method of watching it out is a little bit time consuming, is a little bit tedious, and it does take a lot of time, effort, having someone look over your shoulder to say, yes, you got it all. No, you didn't get it all. Yes, you got it all. No, you didn't get it all. By the way, my husband told me I got it all the first time. He even washed it out for me, and when I came here and I looked in the mirror, I had product all throughout my hair. So yes, it's very deceiving. So that's the only negative thing I do have to say about this product. Would I use this product again? Yes. I probably would a lot further down the line and I probably would use a lot less. You guys saw that I almost used the whole tub because when it comes to conditioning, before I had locks, I used half the bottle of conditioner on my hair. So I'm just so used to always using so much of a conditioning product. So I did use, use almost that whole jar on my head. I probably will use a lot less the next time because a little bit does go a long way. Because you do sit with a cap on your hair for about 20 minutes to allow that product the opportunity to just absorb and give your hair all those wonderful benefits that it is said to provide. So if you have any tips and tricks on washing mask out of locked hair, please let me know in the comments if you've done this before. If you have curls, coils, or kinks, I 10 out of 10 recommend this product for you. If you have locks, I 7 and a half out of 10 recommend this product for you. So here's my hair. This is the final look. Like I said, it feels so soft and I wish you guys can smell it. so good it just smells so good but anyway please if you haven't already and you have gotten this far like subscribe comment down below and as always I love you guys